All right, guys, it is a gloomy, rainy Friday afternoon. It is January 28th, 2022. I guess it's heading to 23 degrees here in the Point Lonesome Swamp and deep in the oasis of freedom tomorrow night. But anyway, on this lovely Friday afternoon, you know, I'm, I feel kind of bad that I brought you guys down about... Uh, for the five or six people on the planet who heard my uh, story from a couple of days ago about that homeless woman who burned to death in her tent uh, here in Florida a couple of days ago, leaving behind her heartbroken uh, boyfriend. I don't want people to think that Hambone is just such a downer that he never has warm and fuzzy news. Or well, right here on Reuters News, right here on Reuters News today, to warm the cockles of your heart, we're going to go to Sub-Saharan Africa. We're going to go to a refugee camp in Sub-Saharan Africa for this heartwarming story. After narrow escape from violence, Cameroon refugee gives birth to triplets. Aren't they just adorable? Look at those cute little triplets born in a sub-Saharan African refugee camp. Yes, I can only imagine what those three adorable little bundles of joy are going to be seeing in their lifetime, but what a, uh, what a way to arrive on the planet. Yes, triplets who were born to Fatim Elion, a Cameroonian woman, lie inside a tent at the refugee camp on the outskirts of Jemina. So I hope it's not like the outskirts of Pensacola, Florida. I'm hoping it doesn't end for these three little bundles of joy like it I ended for that uh, homeless, uh, paralyzed woman in Florida a few nights ago. All right, take it away. Mahamat Ramadane from Reuters News. <clears throat> this is coming from Kalambari Chad. And you have to, uh, while you're reading this story, you will be tempted to go over to SI's Best Portraits of All Time, Sports Illustrated. I don't know if that's that trans woman or not. But anyway, we're going to get back over to Sub-Saharan Africa. <coughs> Heavily pregnant <coughs> Fatim Elion journeyed for three days by foot and dugout canoe last month <clears throat> to flee violence in northern Cameroon between herders, farmers, and fishermen. Yes. <clears throat> Upon arriving in neighboring Chad, an equally daunting test awaited her. <clears throat> three weeks later, the 32-year-old mother of seven. The 32-year-old mother of seven <clears throat> gave birth to triplets. Yes. Quote, quoting the 32-year-old mother of seven, now the 32-year-old mother of, I guess, ten. Uh, I don't know whether the seven was before or after the triplet. Somewhere, the 32-year-old has somewhere between seven and ten children uh, to the warming of the, co the cockles of Reuters News heart. Uh, anyway, <clears throat> quote, <clears throat> this is quoting the proud new mother. Even when I was pregnant in Cameroon, I did not know I was carrying triplets, but physically I was in pain, she said as she breastfed one of her newborns swaddled in a pink blanket inside her tent at a refugee camp. 
Elion fled her ethnic Mosgoom fishing and farming village last month when it was attacked by Arab Choa herders who burned down her neighbor's houses. More than 100,000 Cameroonians fled the violence, with dozens killed in tit-for-tit reprisal. Yes, I guess it's the great tit wars. You're going to need those tits. She's going to need three tits. This woman is going to have to grow another tit. Anyway, <clears throat> more than 100,000 Cameroonians fled the violence with dozens killed in tit-for-tit tit reprisal attacks that broke out following disputes over dwindling water resources, according to the UN Refugee Agency, UNHCR. There you go. Uh, violence that broke out following disputes over dwindling water resources. I don't know what percentage of the women uh, there with a dwindling water resources have between seven and ten children, but I expect quite a few of them. <clears throat> anyway, moving on. Elion's husband, well, uh, there, there, there's two words I was not expecting to read in this story. Wow. Elion's husband and three eldest children stayed in Cameroon where they sought refuge at a site for internally displaced persons. <clears throat> in Chad, Elion now has seven young mouths to feed from the limited rations provided to the refugees. So yeah, so she has seven and her husband has three. But at least her husband, she and her husband will not be able to fuck Jesus fucking Christ! Anyway, getting on to our warm and fuzzy story. Okay, this is her mother-in-law, meaning the husband's mother, Miriam Apagar, who later joined Elion at the camp. This is the grandmother of the ten children, joining her daughter-in-law and seven grandchildren at a refugee camp. <clears throat> Quote, the birth of the triplets is a blessing. Yes, it is. The birth of the triplets is a blessing. But I am very worried because we have no food or money. Without assistance from the authorities, we will not be able to find food for the mother and her newborns without assistance from the authorities. You know, this begs this question, where I read this, about these uh, clueless fucking morons having all of these babies at refugee camps 100% dependent on foreign aid food handouts from the rest of the planet to keep everyone from starving to death. You know, it, it begs the question, okay, she had seven children already. So when she and her husband had the seven children, uh, I'm assuming that they were living in, you know, a, a nice suburban uh, split level, I don't know, five bedroom, three bathroom home that, you know, he had a good steady job where he could provide for seven to ten children. Uh, you know what I'm saying. I mean, obviously, there's no way, there's no way that this couple, uh, what were they, uh, fishermen, the, these fishermen uh, in the Cameroon, you know, would have been living in maybe a tar paper shack that they would have been clueless enough to, after seven children to, uh, to start pumping out some more. But don't worry, we always have those food agencies. Anyway, where were we? At the end. 
Elion, for her part, said she hopes to earn some money selling cakes. Selling cakes at the local market of a town not far from the refugee camp. There you go. Isn't that adorable? Uh, let's see. Where is the proud mother? There she is. There is the proud mother. Yes. What does her... I cannot read what her t-shirt says. It looks like she has a NASA jacket on. So there we go. I know that just warms the cockles of your heart. You go, girl. You're only 32. I mean, you can be you, you can pump out another six or seven of these. You know, as long as you and your husband can get back together uh, at, at at the same refugee camp and find a little bit of privacy in the back corner of your tent uh, under all those beautiful blankets. Well, there you go. I'm glad I warmed the cockles of your little doomer heart. Bundle up. We have a weekend blizzard heading your way. Bye, guys.